On to race number six. The sixth on the program is a class three contest. Thousand metre dash uh, here, headed by Breeders Star, who's a five time winner at Happy Valley. He's all been over the 1200 metres, though. Young legend into this, uh, back into this class three. He's a two time winner. Explosive winners, first up since January. Frustrated gets the blinkers on for the first time. Likes to roll from barrier four. Special times. It's a two time course and distance winner last season. Aquila goes up in class. Good winner here, course and distance uh, on his final start. And Gentle Breeze, also a two time course and distance winner. He is second up for the season. Had a run down the straight at Chartin. California Argent, explosive witness, beauty, charisma, special stars and smart charade have all been up at Chilfart. The racing club will be looking forward to uh, potentially a big night. Hopefully if they can get one or maybe even two winners. We'll look at Young Legend in track work shortly. But pace here good, Aquila, beauty, charisma, even explosive witness who hasn't raced since January. Goes in extremely fresh, drawn gate one. Frustrated back to the minimum trip in the claim. Super Junior's a jump and run. So a lot of pace expected. Uh, here is the one you just talked about, Brett, young legend. Uh, he's drawn barrier 10. It's just going to be a bit of a question mark for him. Uh, he did draw wide last time uh, on the all-weather with Zach uh, Purden aboard and uh, couldn't really get into the race at all. Uh, but he's drawn wide once again. But he has had that run under his belt. So Danny Shulman, Dylan Moe, barrier 10. Frustrated. Now, they put blinkers on him for the first time. He has been pulling a little bit in his track work. So just take note of that. You can see he's quite keen once again here. Uh, he's got barrier 4 with a, an apprentice on. So... I wonder if they'll let him go and try and lead with those blinkers on, question mark there. And Aquila's going really nicely, that's him on the far side. Uh, no pressure on him as he comes down and he's working really nicely with whose horse, who's on first. Um, he'll be our favourite Aquila as well, we'll leave that one to, uh, to one side for now. Super Junior is where we're going to start, along with Gentle Breeze and Beauty Charisma down the straight. But uh, Gentle Breeze will certainly probably be more at home at Happy Valley. Yes, I would have thought so. Um, and Super Junior's probably more at home at Sha Tin, looking at his overall record. But it is worth saying that he is going quite well at the moment, Super Junior. He was going good at the end of last season, defeated Dancing Fighter, and he ran a cracker here, obviously. Got pretty close to multi-million. So he's hard to leave out, Super Junior, but because of the track conditions for him, Happy Valley as opposed to Sha Tin and the awkward gait, I have done so. I've got General Breeze and there's a red flashing light on him because he blew the start mm. and uh, he was about two or three lengths behind them. It was last at the 200 and hit the line really strongly and likes Happy Valley, so with a light weight I've got him in. Okay, alright, special stars likes Happy Valley as well. Um, rattle off a couple of um, early season wins last year, one of them on uh, IJC night in yeah. fact. Yeah, and one of them was from coming back uh, in the field, like sort of from downtown, and the other was up on the speed. He looked more impressive when he sat back quietly, but he has shown that he's got strings to his bow. He did find it difficult, um, although he had one win in the class. Overall, he found it quite difficult in class three. But he'll be a more mature horse now as a four-year-old, another off-season underneath his belt, and um, he's hard to leave out, I would have thought. Yeah, I threw, I threw him in as well. His fresh-up record isn't 100, but... Uh... Uh, look, he, he's got talent, there's no question. All right, Aquila looked really good winning here at the back end of last season from Barrier 12. He's got Barrier 6 this time. Yeah, so nice draw from him, and he's had this really nice quiet trial, which he won. Uh, he won it really well. I think the horse has strengthened up from last season. Joe Mirra board with 117 pounds, he looks tough to beat for me. Yeah, I'm not 100% convinced about him yet. He hasn't been able to break 22 for his last 400 in three starts over 1,000, which concerns me a little. He looked a bit of a speedy squib there, those first couple, and then he got a soft kill at the Valley. Uh, he'll be up there for a long time, and he may have well strengthened up, as Paul said. Mm. Yeah, lightweight as well. Here's our favourite, Paul. Yeah, got him on top, uh, one from one at the Valley, so Aquila on top, Gentle Breeze caught the eye at his last start. It was a great run from him. Really like that 11 and 12. Then special stars, and I'm very frustrated him because they might uh, try and lead on him. We need to see what tactics they do do with him. 11, 12, 7, 6. Uh, I'm going to go with Frustrated, actually. As Paul said, they might be right up on the pace. A 1,000 metres was good for him first prep. He's got no weight on his back, and he is a progressive type, a little bit like Aquila. I think California Rajon's the X factor in the race. We know he can blast from the back, uh, but you've got to watch his behaviour in the paddock. Gentle Breeze and Aquila, obviously, in third and fourth, as Paul said, a red light on Gentle Breeze after his last start. But uh, I'll go six on top. All right, and we've all got the 6, 11 and 12 fit on numbers. I've got the same numbers as you again, Paul. Oh, yeah. You got halves on this TT? We can well do. Won't cost good. you a lot. For this <laughs> <one>. <laughs> All right, that was uh, race number six. Uh, feature race uh, comes up uh, next. That is the community chest 